Hello, welcome to Steve's Gaming, and this is Games I Love number 52. As you can see, <laughs> we're, uh, we're on the BBC Model B with Snapper. Now, this is, uh, this is well, interesting, you might not find it interesting, but it's interesting to me. There's two versions of Snapper. Uh, it came out in 1982 by Aconsoft, well, of course, and uh, it came... This, this version of the now is the original one. And this is one I bought, because I picked up a beeb in uh, late 82. And I got like three or four games the day I bought the BBC. And Snapper was one of them. Yeah, Aconsoft Planetoid, or should I say Defender was the other one. One of the, one of the other ones. So I got Snapper that day, and I had the original Snapper. Now, they put this out in 82, and they had to pull it back. I had to, I had to take all the shells or whatever. And redo it. They changed the tunes and they changed the sprites from, you know, Pac-Man Ghost and Pac-Man to, uh, to to men and this little guy with the hat. And then they put it out again. But they put the first one out in '82 and the second one out in '82. So what what space was between them? I'm not sure. Maybe it was just weeks or months. I don't know. But it was the same year, definitely. So this is the first version. This is the version I actually bought. Now. I sold my BB probably 84, bought a Spectrum, yes really. And that's a shame because shame I don't still have it because I think the original version of a Snapper in its box is probably worth a bloody fortune on eBay these days. <laughs> Cause there wasn't that many copies of it. It was pulled. So here we go. Let's give it a go. And yeah, I mean straight off it's uh, about as Pac-Man looking as you can get in it. Even the intro tune. Great game. Now, while I recognise Pac-Man as a, a classic, I was never a massive fan. Uh, whereas something like uh, Scramble or Wizard of War or Mr. Do, I can literally play for hours. Pac-Man for me is like a fun game for 10 minutes and I'm, do and I'm done, you know? It's not a game I could play all day. And when I played it in the arcade, it was like, throw 10p on it, have a game, have fun, and that's, that, that's it. Whereas, like, you know, say, scramble or whatever, I put 10p after 10p after 10p in. <laughs> because I, I just enjoyed them so much. Uh, that's nothing wrong, with, nothing wrong with Pac Man, obviously. It's, it's, you know, it's a fantastic game. It's just. Yeah, it's good. It's just not something I could play for a long time, but that's just that's just me. But let's look at this. This is. This is oh. Whoop, whoop. I <laughs> got away there. Come on, run away, man, run away. But this is great. I'm guessing Namco saw this and thought, no, we're not having that. <laughs> and uh, threatened Acorn Soft or something, I don't know, and be legal proceedings, I don't know, I don't think exactly, but obviously something happened for them to, to pull this and change it. But, oh gee, oh, I got to, did, it, did the first level. But the thing that, this thing that interests me is, this the Snapper came out in 82, it was pulled in 82, and then it did, came out with an alternate version. Okay, fine. But how come Planetoid wasn't pulled? I mean, that's as close as Defenders you're going to get on any home system. Same with uh, Rocket Raid, which is as close as to, close to Scramble as you're going to get. Which is fantastic. So I mean, Rocket Raid and Rocket Raid and Scramble. Yeah, it was as close as this is to Pac-Man. But no, they were they were fine. Same, I believe it was a. Uh, oh shit! I believe it was Meteors. The Asteroids version that was really that was really good as well. I think most Aconsoft arcade clones were brilliant, apart from a couple of stinkers. I know Carousel. The Aconsoft version of Carousel is a <laughs> is a real stinker. It's just, it's a shame because the rest of them are brilliant, but that was just that's just really really bad. Yeah, it wasn't called Carousel, was it? It was a different name. I can't remember the name, but it it was that game. It was Carousel, but. It, it, it was a really, it was a really piss poor version. Luckily though, we have uh, on the BBC we got a legend called Richard Broadhurst that needed an, an updated version of um, Carousel, which is pretty much arcade perfect. So we sorted for that. <laughs> I mean, they did Hopper as well. That's a Frogger game, and yeah, that was that was your tough one, Hopper. I think it was Hopper and Carousel, the Microsoft games that were. Okay, but not a patch on the other Aconsoft arcade games like Rocket Raid and 
the well punitory defender and whatever, you know. But they weren't they didn't change any of the others. The only one that changed was this. <laughs> so yeah, this is the version I had. Bought it in uh, late eighty two. Played it a lot. When I say a lot, I don't mean a lot. I don't, don't mean I played it hours after hour. I didn't have but whenever I have to be B born, I was like, have a game of this and then move on to something else. So it was a it was a one, one game. <laughs> That's really, really nice. I mean, how accurate is it to the arcade version? I mean, to me, okay, it looks, it looks, oh, shit, nearly killed myself. It looks very accurate. But, I mean, I really, I'm not sure how the ghosts work in the arcade version. I do know they all have different AI. Like, one chases you and one goes this way and one goes that way sort of thing. But I can't remember which is which, so I'm not sure he's totally... 100% accurate, but hey, it was accurate enough for me. I thought it was great. Can we get a cherry? Yes, we can. Can we get down there? Oh, yes, we can. Run away, quick. Ah, oh, run, 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 run. Get, get it up. That's it. Oh. Luckily, just... Can we get this gold? Yeah, and another cherry. <laughs> That's a great game. I didn't mean to go, I meant to, meant to go right then rather than up. Oh well, never mind, doesn't matter. I think we might be able to sneak it and something pops out of here. There we go. I believe a lot of people say, now I could be wrong, but I believe a lot of people say that Pac-Man was okay. Well, Pac-Man was good, but Miss Pac-Man is the Pac-Man game to play. They said that is the better game. Myself... I've not, honestly, not played it. I might have played it and just forgotten about it, because it, but I've not played it enough to remember it and no, notice the changes. But that's what, I've, that's what I've heard quite a few times. So maybe it is, maybe it's a lot better, I don't know. But I don't believe there was a, a Miss Pac-Man version on the beep. Oh yeah, I remember, I just remember I did play Miss Pac-Man, because I remember, I, li I like the way the fruit walks around, <laughs> I thought that was pretty comical, but I've uh, not played it often enough to actually really notice the shit differences. <laughs> Game over. Okay, so that's the one I bought in 82. Now we'll, uh, we'll have a look at version 2. Here we go. So they pulled that version we've just played, and they came out with this somewhat weeks, months later. Not long, not long anyway. This one we can play with a joystick. The other one you can't. Hmm. Yeah. And there we go. We got a different intro tune, different sprites. I do like the little guy, the little yellow guy with the, with the green hat. I do like him. I think he's comical. The ghosts, however, not a fond of those. They like morph. Uh, that's a uh, sort of UK, old UK TV program. Was, I believe, I believe Morph started in Vision on or something like that. Tony Hart, Tony Hart was a legend, absolute legend. So if, you, if you're not from the UK, you probably think I'm talking utter twaddle, which is totally fine. I do. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not a fan of the, I'm not a fan of these monsters as uh, ghost replacements. But then again, I think, well, what would you replace ghosts with? I mean, monsters, devils. Creatures, it just won't look right, would it? I mean, I think whatever you replace them with, it's just not going to look right, is it? So, they can't, they can't win, really. The little guy's cool. Though. Oh no! Oh shit! Quick, get the power pill. Get that one. No, oh, never, never mind. Just get the tablet. Just get the, uh, just get the, the pills or whatever they're called. Dots. I don't know what bloody ones they're called. <laughs> right, here we go. Do along the bottom. I'd like to get the bottom done first because I tend to get trapped down there quite often, which I am going to do now. There you go. Oh, lucky. No, not lucky. I shouldn't have turned back. I shouldn't have turned back. I'd have had it. <laughs> That intro tune's nice. I mean, it's a nice little ditty, but it's not 
it's not as good as the original, is it? But then again, you know, it's all sort of ingrained in your in your mind as Pac-Man, isn't it? Nothing's gonna change that. <laughs> I think if this had come out as it is originally, without the uh, the first version, I think everybody would have been really happy with it. And, you know, great game. But I think I was spoiled because I bought the original shit. Because I bought the original and saw how good it it was. I think I was spoiled. <laughs> no! Oh man, you're useless. <laughs> Come here, you bugger. I was, I was, I've, uh, I was never fantastic at Pac Man. When I used to play it in the arcade, you know, just stole 10p, 10p in it. I used to, like, if I got to, like, level 3. I would consider it to be a good game. <laughs> oh, where you go? Oh, yes. You, you circled around the way, didn't you, you little swine? <laughs> so, there we go. Yeah, so that's Snapper version 1 and version 2, both in 1982 by Acorn Soft. Great game. Still a good game today. If you, if you love Pac Man, still a great game. But I prefer version 1. Mm, yep. <laughs> so I'll see you next time. Bye bye.